Hey guys, it's Luke here at Tutorial Island. In our last tutorial, we were working on geothermal generators and how to use lava cells to make infinite power. With this infinite power, we can then use this to make an infinite EMC generator. Using rotary mass rotor or any sort of mass rotor and some blaze rods. For this, you need a medium voltage transformer, a low voltage transformer, and around two condensers, and three redstone engines, and a few redstone torches. You can have the gold pipes if you want, but you don't really need them. Alright, so let's build it. First, you need a bit of space, because it does take up a bit of space. It's not like a tiny little thing. Alright, so first, you need a medium voltage transformer, and a low voltage transformer. So firstly you put the medium voltage transformer on. You need the three dots pointing towards the MFSU or your power supply, whatever you're using, because it's the input. And the one dot pointing towards the what is going to be the lower voltage transformer because that's the output. So then you put the lower voltage transformer in exactly the same position and you connect it like this. Oh, a bit of lag there. Let's carry on. Um, you connect this to the rotary macerator. Oh, it doesn't have to be a rotary macerator, it does not matter. Normal macerators are fine, just the speed is much better. Alright, then you put a, a redstone torch underneath just to make it constantly on, so it's constantly charging your RPM. Right, next to this, you put a wooden transport pipe and carry this on a bit to your first energy condenser and then in your energy condenser you put a blaze rod and then you do a little loop oh you need a another wooden one there a tiny little loop and then you loop back around here a bit past the rotary macerator come around here another energy condenser let's actually move back a bit and another wooden pipe and another pipe and this one again you put another blaze rod okay you're almost done but firstly you gotta make sure that's in the top I always forget that it's just how it goes next you have to put redstone engines on every single one of these guys and a torch next to them every wooden pipe yeah like so alright you're almost done. All you got to do now is put. Oh, that was an accident. Put uh, a few blaze rods in here, or anything you want to transfer, like transfer into blaze rods. You just put like I don't know anything worth a lot of EMC, maybe a diamond or something. But yeah, anyway, this is how it works. Every time you put a blaze rod in here, it creates five blaze powder, as you can see, and then. You see, that has an EMC value of 768. And this has one of 1,536. One well, you're thinking, wait, that's not right. That's way more than that. And you're right, this can make almost three blaze rods just from the one. And then this then sends it round back into this condenser, and you pretty much doubled your blaze rods. And you just keep doing that until you have the, uh, as much EMC as you want. One bad thing about this thing is if it gets too overflowed, like I'll show you, such as a crap load of blaze rods in here, then um, it starts spitting out. And if it starts spitting out, you just take all of them out. And yeah, it should start spitting out. Alright guys, thank you. This is my video. Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to show you something. Um, I'm going to do this for 10 minutes and I'm going to um, see how much EMC you can get just from 5 diamonds and 2 blaze rods. Ooh, so if you put the blaze rod in here and another one in here, go away. And then you stick the diamonds in here makes 26 so let's hook these up to pump out now 
and now we're going to wait 10 minutes. Before we do that though, um, I wanted to show you some stuff I've installed in this one. This is like an overflow pipe, so when it overflows, uh, when all of these get full, it throws it this way and down to this obsidian pipe. And obsidian pipes, they collect items which are thrown around, and it will just pipe it back all the way up back into this condenser as if it just like went through that pipeline. Alright. So now here's another one I've hooked up. Yeah, we tried to do what we did with the uh, geothermal generators, make it much larger scale. But the thing with this is the overflow is massive on a massive scale, and you can't really stop it from doing it because there's not enough space underneath. And um, yeah, it's just really not worth the trouble of making all this. You're better off just making one of these small ones. All right, so I'll be back in 10 minutes, guys. Bring it back. Hey guys, we're back. It's been 10 minutes. Um, yeah, we've stopped all the machines. Uh, it's all ready. Let's see how many we got. Alright, so we have four and a half stacks of blaze rods. That is quite a lot for 10 minutes work. Let's see how much these turn into when we put a diamond in there. Ah, wow, this is going to be really profitable. I can already tell. It's nearly up to 10, that's 10 times the amount of diamonds we started with. That is a good, that is so good. I don't think you won't find any other better way than this. Anyway guys, as is, this has been Luke um, on the tutorial how to make infinite EMC. And um, see you on our next tutorial hopefully.